leave it alone. Sometimes you may have to leave it alone. No matter what you say, I guess sometimes you may not be able to change the other person's mind. There may be a disagreement and there is a difference in opinions. Sometimes the other party, the other person, I mean, may not see what you see, may not know what you know. They may be in ignorance. So they may believe you are wrong and they are right. So why get in? I guess there is nothing wrong with going back and forth peacefully. But if you begin to see large, a large fight coming, then you may have to leave it alone. Is it worth it? Weigh out the costs. I know with some people, I figure to myself, I am not going to be around that person too much. So let me have that person think whatever they want to think. If they say, Kevin, you are this and that. And if I know that person is unreasonable, I may let that person believe whatever they want to believe. So what? Because it may not be worth it to say anything. It may not be worth it to say anything, yes. So learn to be quiet. Learn to leave things alone. You may want a person to understand correctly. You may want a person to not twist your words in their mind, I guess I can say. But sometimes you may have to leave things alone and pray to God about it and leave it alone. But Kevin, I feel so bad because <clears throat> that person thinks I am saying this, but I am not saying that. You know, I am trying to teach the truth to that person, but that person is not willing to take it, so I am hurt. Okay, it is time to, well, try to stop being hurt and leave it alone. Pray to God for that person to understand the truth and pray that you aren't wrong as well because I believe sometimes we may be wrong too. Let me stop here. God bless you.